Hi everyone, this time we're checking out OnLive Desktop for the iPad. These guys have been around for years delivering virtual gaming uh, on de uh, using virtual desktop technology to deliver high-end virtual gaming functionality to low-end machines through again you know through this virtual desktop technology and now they've leveraged this on the iPad and they're delivering a full desktop and giving you Windows 2010 for free on the iPad with two gigs of storage pay a little more you can get additional functionality more storage and a high-speed internet connection back out from the desktop uh, all some pretty cool ideas let's take a closer look so there are kind of multiple uh, elements involved in using on live desktop uh, there's the obvious getting the app on your iPad but there is also this web based side where you're going to come out sign up and then you can upload files from um, from com other computers into your on live desktop so that you can get to them and manipulate them through your um, iPad application so so you'll want to head on over to the App Store and look up on live desktop and download the free app to your iPad then you're going to want to head over here to desktop.onlive.com and sign up for your account. Once you've signed up, then you're going to want to sign in and get going. I'm going to go ahead and sign in. And there's my files. And if I want to upload a new file, I'm just going to come out here, click the interface. Uh, this article I'm working on, go ahead and pull that out and hit upload. And that's it, it's there. So when I go to work with On Live Desktop on my iPad, I'm going to be able to edit it. So here is the On Live Desktop interface on my iPad. And if I open up the documents link, there's my document. So one important thing to be aware of about on live desktop here I have word open and what you're seeing on the screen is this keyboard there is a proprietary keyboard because you have to use the keyboard the virtual keyboard on the virtual desktop instead of the iPads keyboard I don't know if there's a way to overcome that uh, I don't know if an external keyboard would work at all um, but what's there is, is certainly functional but it is it's a different keyboard and a different interface so here I have opened up Excel on the desktop and you can see it's full-blown Excel. All the traditional menus and everything you would expect with Excel 2010 are up there. A kind of an unusual example of a spreadsheet. I use Excel to plan my garden. And here I have opened up PowerPoint to show it in all of its glory in the OnLive desktop environment. In addition to their free offerings, the standard desktop, uh, they also offer for five bucks a month um, priority access so I guess uh, you know I have occasionally seen some slowness coming out of the um, desktop interface it has not performed perfectly and I don't know if they're getting overwhelmed dem with demand on this popular product but they do have they say you know for the paid fee you get the priority access um, you get this gigabit accelerated flash browser so you can uh, it's, it's full Internet Explorer running on a desktop that's reaching back out to the Internet so flash and everything works and uh, you get uh, a higher amount of storage and webmail although I don't see here exactly how much so actually on closer inspection I see that you do not get more storage uh, in and of itself but it says you get access to cloud files and webmail attachments not sure what the webmail attachments are about with the cloud files if you can use something like Dropbox I don't know if you can install Dropbox or if there's a way that um, you can get access to other files then maybe the two gigs is enough and this gives you the functionality you need Back on the offers page, though, it, does, it does show that for 10 bucks a month, you actually get 50 gigs of online desktop storage directly there if you really like the environment and that's what you need. And that'll wrap up this, uh, this look at online desktop on the iPad. Uh, if you have any comments, please come on out to the blog post and leave a comment and tell us, have you used this? What has your experience been? Or if you give it a shot and you want to share some of your insights, we'd love to hear them. Thanks a lot. Oh,